In today's video, we will see some Excel data cleaning tips and tricks. Sometimes we get such a data in Excel which is too messed up or unorganized and too hard to analyze. The tips and tricks will help you to finish your work within minutes. Hi, my name is Vijay and you are watching Office Mom. Let's start the video and cover rest of the things over there. This is the data in which we have country details like country name, capital, currency and continent. But all the things are typed together or put together. We have to divide in different columns. What we will have to do? We will have to click on first name. Here it's C3. So we have to type C3 over here. Next is C4, then C5 and C6. When we will come to second, it's from C7. So we will type C7, C8, C9, C10. After that, we have to come down and check what's our last number. So it's C42. We have to go up. We have to select this, drag till C42. So this thing is done. After that, we have to give command control F. A box will pop up. Find what? C. Our country details are in C and we have to click on replace. Replace with equal to C and replace all. Okay. And we will close this box. You will see all the details are filled up very nicely within seconds. This is an employee data in which uh, name, employee number, date of birth, father's name, all the things are together. What we have to do, we have to copy this, paste over here, then employee number, we have to paste, then comes date of birth, this is date of birth, paste, and then father's name. So this is father's name, we have to paste it over here. Then we have to give one command that is control E and it will be filled through flash fill. Control E. All the things are filled up within seconds. This is the data in which we have to create tables, and along with tables, we have to create drop downs also. If we will be doing this manually, it's going to take lots of time. We will select all this. We'll give a command Control T. A box will pop up create table. We have to do OK. And you will see our table is created very nicely. If you want, you can change color from here. So this thing is also done within seconds. This is the data in which we have got employee names, but it's not in proper format. To get this in proper format, we will have to give a command plus trim bracket open. We have to select this bracket close enter. You will see that all the names are within proper format, but now also some are in capital and some are in small. Now we have to give another command that is proper bracket open we have to select this bracket close enter this is done if you want all the names in upper cases you have to give command plus upper bracket open you have to select this bracket close enter you have to drag this if you want all the names in lower case the command will be plus or equal to lower bracket open select this enter and this thing is done This is a report in which many things are missing. You can see the blanks over here. If the report will be really big, it will be challenging to find all the blanks. So what we have to do, we have to select all this and we have to give a command function F5. A box will pop up. Here we have to go on special. We have to click blanks. We will do OK. All the blanks will be covered with gray color, but one master blank will be blank means there will be no entry. So we have to go on top and we will type missing over here. We have to press control and enter. All the blanks will have missing now. Now what we have to do, we have to select this data once again. We have to go in conditional formatting, highlight cell rule equal to and here we have to type missing. We have to do OK. You will see that all the data will be filled up with missing. If the person will be filling anything over here, it will be white. Suppose that I'll put my name, office monk, and I'll do enter, it will become white. Means after entering the data, it will automatically become white. 
this is a sales report in which sales are not in proper format somewhere you will see it it's in text format somewhere in time format somewhere in date format and due to which our sales are not getting calculated properly if i delete this you will notice that there's no change what we have to do we have to type one in a blank cell we have to copy that control c we have to come over here we have to right click the mouse we have to go in paste special and we have to click on multiply okay you will see that all the things are filled up very properly means all the values are now in number format and if we will delete this you will notice the changes down it's getting changed it means just a command and all the things are done properly i'm sure you must have loved the video See you soon with a new video. Till then, keep practicing. Bye bye.